please raise your hands up with us. culture itself. I'm not touching any specific or problematic uh, topic, but just uh, I, I did the research about the protest itself. And after three years of doing that, I decided, okay, I would like to, I would like to go into some specific topics of protest. And also, I did this research alone. I, was, I had a solo performance, so I was spending a lot of time on stage alone. And I really miss being with others. And, uh, and the main essence of the protest is be with others. So I came up with this idea that uh, uh, I will invite people, regular random people, non-artistic artist people, to join me and just uh, share this experience of holding hands uh, as long as we can. Uh, but it touched me because I feel too privileged and, um, in this world and I'm feeling that I can ma make some action even though they're really small. I feel that from the power position that I'm standing in the society, maybe with this kind of things I can at least do something. I think the answer is probably a turning point of a kind for us. Uh, these past few years were very challenging and our reaction to different influxes of migration was very different. I started thinking of the phenomenon of being a refugee not as negative as it may sound, but as other means of communication between us nations and peoples and uh, cultures and languages around the world. And uh, as Kip, as an art organization, we are trying to find ways to process and to communicate and to find uh, ways uh, to enter into dialogue uh, on what happened to us, what is happening to us, what does it say about us as a country, and uh, whether it's a mirror of uh, us you know, as a society, uh, uh, the facts and the ways we can accept ours. And then we, we saw as an increase of interest when we saw increasing movement of refugees to the European countries, and then there was a lot of fear around it that that kind of, there will be a mass arrival to Lithuania, which never happened. It's usually quick decisions in order to get a hold of the situation. And after a while, you have to start thinking about the long-term perspective on, on what kind of an effect this will have. What is missing is uh, also responsibility for civil organizations, for cultural organizations to get involved and building these bridges, getting more uh, open uh, and inclusive and uh, uh, this year for me uh, in a different discussion I heard the point uh, of um, uh, someone speaking that the roots of uh, us and them you know is in childhood it's in very childhood and uh, 
the research has been done about the representation of other cultures living in Lithuania in children books, literature, and so on. And uh, it was uh, the research showed that it's none, you know, so there is no uh, different child, no refugee child, no migrant child, no other ethnicity child represented. So the reader, children can get to know them, you know, as a people. So I think that this is the uh, like very roots of building the bridges. Uh, what is missing in the in my personal context is understanding because uh, when I made my journey outside Iraq, to, from Iraq to Norway, uh, I felt like I am uh, entrusted with a with a with a mission, which is to tell the story, uh, to tell the story of what I have seen, what I have experienced, and how I I perceived things from a very very personal uh, perspective, or from a very very personal emotional sometimes narrative, uh, because I felt that what was missing is something that I think Pink Floyd spoke about in the 70s. It is the concept of the us and the concept of the them. Because at, until that time we were we were them, basically. We were the other people. We were the people from the countries that are at war with itself. We were from the countries and that has uh, conflict with identities, that has issue with who they are, where they are positioned in the, in the time and the place. Um, what I have devoted the rest of my life for, until, uh, from when I moved to Norway, is to, uh, you know, build a bridge from the two concepts, the, the us and the them, and uh, replace it with the we, because this is something that we are all uh, going through. It's the potentially most important part of this discussion, and uh, how to bring those uh, re refugee stories uh, to the to the to be known to be like to be open for sharing. Uh, I think what we're lacking is more knowledge and competence to understand that the uh, world is, is full of Ukrainian kind of situations, uh, but we do not uh, uh, see the relation between these situations. Global politics that is not. Uh, taking those things into consideration. Iraq, Mesopotamia, as the, uh, as the Romans used to call it, land of the two rivers. Uh, the whole ecosystem is based on the continuation of the flow of those two rivers in certain ratios of water. And now Turkey has built a network of dams that will sort of stop those waters from flowing. There is an actual environmental test witness now in Iraq and in Syria. Um, these conflicts are happening as quickly as you could imagine. There are whole villages disappearing. There are fishermen uh, relocating. Uh, there are farmers uh, there with, their, uh, with their cows and animals dying as we speak. Those people will move. They will not stay there because their environment does not support life. So they will move into other environments. And that will, by nature, create a conflict on resources. This is going to create conflicts on the, on the local level, on the regional level, and on the global level, which is going to create a wave of internal displacement, which is going to be, by nature, translated into a wave of refugee. Given this realistic worldview of where we are right now, really appreciate sharing your knowledge. Thank you everyone for um, for listening. And once again, uh, we had uh, Renato Kulic, the representative of the United Nations Refugee Agency. We had Aiste Ulbe, managing director of Artscape. We had Basim uh, Mardan from ICORN Network. And we had Laura Berevichita, head of foreigners integration at Ministry of Social Social Security and Labor here in Lithuania. Thank you so much, all of you.